I'm back at Universal Orlando Resort to do some exploring, so how about you and I dive right in. everyone and welcome back to another theme park obsession video my name is dylan thank you so much for tuning back into the channel like i said today we're doing some exploring at universal orlando resort we'll be park hopping doing all that fun stuff as well as uh i don't know see what other kind of surprises we can find throughout our adventure today Ooh, the work is going pretty well at the new uh, universal studio store i believe that's what this is and uh, a lot has happened since last i was here oh yeah especially this side this side looks totally different they added this portion right here so that's coming along really nicely maybe in the next uh, couple months this will be all covered up and look at that the place is decked out for the holidays oh yes they did a really good job with all the garland look at how giant this wreath is holidays featuring macy's balloons Ooh, we'll have to check that out all righty we made it inside we're here for early entry if you are a pass holder for the park or you're here staying at an on-site hotel you'll get the early entry just depending on uh, if you, at the hotel they'll, they'll tell you what park it is it changes sometimes but uh, yeah it's gonna be fun today we're gonna have a really good time i'm glad you guys are joining me on today's adventure it's cool over here where they do like the outdoor concerts and stuff they have a bunch of new tables and chairs out so you're kind of running out of space to sit and enjoy a little meal like christmas treat well they got it they got you covered which is really nice and then over here is where they do the macy's day balloons which are in those sound stages so we'll check those out today they also have a Christmas tribute store. That'll be in a separate video, so make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you'll stay up to date on when that video drops, probably uh, the following day or not. But yeah, that, that needs its own video because the Christmas tribute store is pretty epic. But this is nice that they've added some additional seating out here. Oh, and look who it is. It's Michael. Hello. 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 Thanks for joining us today. Of course. I mean, I don't know where you were the first couple yeah, days, I, but... I was, I was gone. Yeah, but I'm, I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> oh wow, they've definitely decked this area of the park out. This is really cool. They have the garland everywhere on the light poles and they have a giant Christmas tree. I can see the Christmas tribute store over there in the background too. Oh wow, you can tell that they're expecting a big crowd today out in front of Mummy. They have all the extended like stanchions out. It goes all the way down to Louis. Wow, that's a, it's probably gonna be busy today. It's Sunday by the way, so it's, I mean, it's expected. We're gonna do Fast and the Furious Supercharge. It's open today. I think it's open on select days, so probably the weekends, like maybe Thursday through Sunday or something, they, they keep it open or depending on the crowd level that they're expecting, but it's been a while since I've done this. It's uh, it's honestly not one of our favorites, but the fact that it's open again, we just want to experience this is my it. my favorite. Oh, you're lying. <laughs> but no, the fact that it's open again and we get to experience it, and uh, you know, I do actually, I don't mind the queue space. This queue does get a little warm though during the summer. But uh, it's, it's going to be cool to go back on this. Alrighty, we're getting ready. The party's about to start. Now, this experience is very similar to the tram experience in Hollywood. It's pretty much identical. The only difference is there are a couple little show scenes in here. But other than that, the attraction is the same. But you can notice that this is similar to King Kong here at Islands of Adventure. They use the same type of vehicles, which is really cool because the technology is really neat. Alrighty, we just got off Fast and Furious Supercharged again. It's been a hot minute since we've done that. And uh, yeah, I mean, honest, to be completely honest with you, it's not one of my favorites. Uh, this one and Jimmy Fallon are on the, the bottom of my list of attractions to do here. Um, it, I mean, some people will like it and some people just won't. So I, 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 yeah, it's not for everyone. And uh, for me, I, I feel like they could have used a different ride concept because the show building that it's in is so huge. So I, I don't know. It, it, it's interesting that they used it because it's pretty much the same exact thing as um, the tram version in Universal Studios Hollywood. The only difference is a couple little show scenes here and there. And uh, other, yeah, I mean, the, the, the trackless technology is really cool. Like, I really like how they use that and uh, over in King Kong. But yeah, I just feel like the, the, the size of the show building, they could have done something maybe like a roller coaster, maybe something that's like test track or uh, the Car Radiator Springs Racers, something like that. But other than that, it was nice to go back on because it's been it's been a hot minute. Alrighty, now we can jump on Mummy. Uh, they're not using this extended queue yet, so it's still posted at like a 10, 15 minute wait. I love that. Now that we're done with Mummy, let's go check out the Macy's balloons in these soundstage. I believe they're it's in front of us at soundstage 22. Maybe even uh, the stage that has, uh, has the tooth fairy in it. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out in the next uh, couple seconds. Oh my goodness. Hello, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Wow, this, check out 
check out this incredible spread. Wow, these things are huge when you see them this up close. Like, this is insane. Oh, look who it is, it's Gru, right by his minions. Look at that. And speaking of minions, look at this giant minion. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at how huge he is. So look at his gumdrop buttons, they're just massive. Oh, look at this, you can also meet Santa. That's awesome. I was not expecting Santa to be in here. Have all these other balloons of the giant nutcracker over there in the back. And look, it's one of Donkey and the Dragon's kids. And it looks like the three little pigs are building a house made out of candy. That'd be really cool if they did like a Christmas maze. Obviously not scary or anything, but like walking through different villages and seeing the elves and Santa and Mrs. Claus and all that fun stuff. I think that would be really neat. Again, the soundstage is huge. I mean, they have plenty of room to do whatever they want in here. I mean, clearly they stick these giant balloons in here with no problem. This is so cool. I'm like floored at like how they set this up. This is, this is something else. I mean, look at Santa's display right here. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's really well done. See, this is like, I love this because it just gives you more options here at Universal Studios. And it's just like, everyone's having a great time. Everyone's joyous and happy. I love it. This is, this is, this is something else. We're gonna start making our way over to ET. Like you see Transformers is starting to get a lengthy line. They haven't filled the extended queue over here yet, but they have filled all that up. Oh look, Poppy and Diamond are out. Look at Poppy dancing up there. She's getting it. Love that. I think this is the longest I've ever waited for ET as well. It says it's posted 45 minute wait. So let's go ahead and clock it. We're at 10.35 right now. Let's uh, see where we're at in uh, 45 minutes. All right, it's been about 19 minutes and we're going into the forest. Alrighty, we're about to load. Look at that, under 30 minute wait. Right there, you're under. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh no, we're gonna smash into the trees. Oh no! Whoa! Into the road! Why? Hey! Well, it's nice to see the twirl and hurl back open again. For a while there, it was closed, but uh, they've opened it back up. Now, I wonder if this is the same thing as Fast and the Furious, where uh, that's only open on select days, but nonetheless, I mean, it's nice to see it back open. Alrighty, we're heading over to Islands of Adventure now. Of course, we're taking the Hogwarts Express, one of our favorites, and we actually really love, like, the trip from the trip King's Cross. From... No, this, it's this one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. that's what I was going to say. I like yeah. the trip from King's Cross to... To Hogwarts? Oh, uh, yeah. So, cool. Like, so you, cl yeah, yeah, you clearly have watched Harry Potter. Um, so... <laughs> No, he has. He's pretty knowledgeable of Harry Potter. But anyways, this version from King's Cross to Hogsmeade is really good. It's one of our favorites. So we're going to jump on this, see how the wait times are over at Islands of Adventure because I know some of them over there are like 120 minutes or so. I don't think they're that long, but we'll, we'll see. Look at all this luggage. And look, there's a bunch of gifts here as well. I wonder what's in some of these gifts, especially like what's in that one? Ooh, look, and they have a beautiful little Christmas tree in here as well. There's a bunch of presents underneath here, but I, they don't have any names on them. So I guess it's just a free for all. You just kind of grab whatever you want. And just like that, we've made it over to uh, Islands of Adventure. An update over here in Hogsmeade. They've opened up the brand new lockers. Look, and they've themed uh, this to all the cool rock work like on the castle. I think that, that's really nice. I wasn't expecting it to look like this on the side. Oh, wow, this is really well done. It's kind of like the Incredible Hulk lockers. Oh, look at that. They have some who's out here in Oh, look at, there's some more over here as well. Yes, I love that in Seuss Landing. It's definitely been a hot minute since we've seen some Who's. And they're not on the Snowflake this time. They're uh, here at Seuss Landing at Islands of Adventure. The Snowflake had to take a bit of a break this year. But hopefully they'll be back in the Snowflake next year. You know, I've never seen the inside of Circus McGurkis, so I'm gonna walk in here. I want to check this out. I've never, ever seen this. Oh, wow. There's a lot going on in here. Oh, my goodness. I think the trolley train used to go through this building. It doesn't really go through it anymore, but wow, this is awesome. And then, of course, the decorations in here are just, like, through the roof. And, you know, since we're in Seuss Landing, we might as well ride the Cat in the Hat. This is one of my favorite dark rides, actually. This is great. Alrighty, here we go. It says the wait time's 35 minutes and it's 1.26, so let's go ahead and clock this. This is one of my favorites just because of its length. Like, it goes on forever, and it, that's because it tells the whole entire story of Cat in the Hat. So they did a really good job on this one. This is a Islands of Adventure original. We look and we 
Yes, it's the cat in the hat. Go away. You do not want to play. He should not be about when your mother is out. Look at me, I'm the cat. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. And I call them thing one and thing two. They are thing. Oh, so thing. They are probably the play. Look at that, in about 15 minutes we were able to get on the ride and off. So that was definitely uh, under the wait time posted outside. Alrighty, we made it to a very busy superhero island. I'm gonna check the wait time for Spider-Man. It says, uh, oh, it doesn't say 100 minutes, it says 90 minutes. We'll have, to, we'll have to do that in a bit. A lot of these rides we'll do later because on our passes, we have express pass like built in. So we'll do them a little bit. As the day is coming to a close, you can kind of tell that uh, Hogwarts is lit up. The projection mapping is turned on and uh, they're gonna be, they might do a little show or something. Obviously you can't find the show in times. This is all random. It just kind of is a surprise out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, as, as the sun is setting, uh, the castle is awakening. I sure did miss all the Christmas decorations in Hogsmeade back in uh, Universal Studios Hollywood. It's nice to see all this again. It sure is pretty at night. It's definitely nice to kind of sit and relax and just enjoy the view. Well, today was a really good day today. We sure did see a lot today. We were able to get some updates going on. Of course, I'll have a separate video for the Holiday Tribute Store and another video for all the Velocicoaster stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at how pretty this is. This, at night, it's like a totally different ball game. Oh yeah, look at this. This is this is like a bunch of crazy lights. They're like, you know, we're not gonna stop there. We're gonna keep going. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you love theme park content, especially from Universal Studios Orlando, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on every time I post new videos. I have an Instagram account. I'll leave that link down below in the description. And thank you so much for my Buy Me A Coffee members and supporters for all the help. You guys are amazing and keep things kind of flowing nice and smooth. It was fun to go between both parks, see all the new updates, including some of the holiday stuff. Be sure to subscribe because more videos from the different holiday things like the tribute store will come out very, very soon. So make sure to also hit that notification bell. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful evening, day, morning, night, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.